Coast Guard Day is recognized every August 4th. It's a day when the United States Coast Guard was founded and celebrates and honors the courageous work of its service members. Captain Nick Simmons is a commander for the United States Coast Guard Forces Micronesia, Sector Guam. There's five main hats that we talk about wearing in the Coast Guard as a sector commander. Um, it includes search and rescue, captain of the port, so managing the port of Upper Harbor, um, officer in charge of marine inspections, so vessel inspections, things like that, marine environmental response, really kind of the main primary missions of the Coast there are 11 missions of the Coast Guard and 10 are done in Guam. The area of responsibility for the United States Coast Guard on Guam is nearly 1.9 million square miles, which includes the waters off of Guam, the CNMI, and the FSM. It is the responsibility of the United States Coast Guard fast response cutters to provide search and rescue, fisheries enforcement, drug interdiction, and waterway safety and security in these areas. Lieutenant Freddie Hofschneider is a commanding officer of the Oliver Henry, one of three fast response cutters here on Guam. I think having these platforms here now, we're really extending our capabilities across not only Guam and the CNMI and FSM and Palau, but we're reaching further out in Oceania to really, um, you know, strengthen our partnership with, with a lot of those nations that are out here, partner island nations. Um, but it's also making sure that we're able to respond to anything that's happening out there, including search and rescue cases that happen all throughout uh, Micronesia. The Coast Guard has a reserve component, local members who also take part in maritime safety, security, national defense, and the protection of natural resources. These members are semper paratus, or always ready, when called to deploy to other regions in response to natural disasters, humanitarian aid, or terrorism. Captain Josie Heron is a senior reserve officer for District 14 of the Coast Guard. It is really amazing, and I am so impressed, first with Guam and also just with the Coast okay. Guard family that's here. 100% um, of our reservists are local, um, local members from Guam, and they, you know, they bring the community in as well as um, share it with the rest of the Coast Guard members here. And it really, truly is incredible. The Coast Guard Reserve Force is not only a great career path, but it's an opportunity to give back and serve our country. Senior Chief Kevin Riley. The Coast Guard Reserve Force here on Guam is truly diverse. We're comprised of local men and women, many who also serve in public and private sector professions such as firefighting, law enforcement, public utilities and communications. Our job here is to augment our active duty counterparts while also maintaining readiness to deploy to Coast Guard missions around the world. Reporting for KM News, I'm Jonah Gancharfras.